put my work thingy off. We are live now. Thank Hello, you. everybody. We Hello. Happy Hi, New everybody. Year. Sorry for the delay. We had some technical difficulties, as we usually do. But you know what? We're going to ask in our, um, in our prayers that this doesn't happen anymore. Because I like to be on time, and an hour and a half late is not good. So, hello everybody and Happy New Year. So, Happy New Year. It's good to see you all and I'm going to be sending some of you some notes uh, to talk to you about. Uh, this. I'm going to want to send you some thank you notes because uh, you were so gracious. I'm on my new computer now that you all have uh, graciously granted to me and it is wonderful. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So much. Yes. But now we just have to set it up so that it works right. But everybody can hear me right and it's not cutting out, so it's a wonderful thing. Yes. So. Yes. I and Sabrina has spent the last hour and a half or forty five hour and forty five minutes <laughs> trying to get us all set up and now we are. So thank you very much. We need to have a an opening prayer, Sabrina. <laughs> and welcome everybody thank you thank you thank for you waiting thank you everyone for waiting and yes yeah, that's very nice of you thanks we have we had a bit of a challenge but we don't give up <laughs> that's right we Sabrina discovered what was wrong and we fixed it okay so um I want to thank also the, the people that donated uh, towards the computer. Hi, Ann, Jasmina, Jenna, um, Caroline, Mary. Um, who else am I missing, Jim? <laughs> Ruth and, uh, Ruth? and uh, Jeannie and... Uh, Astrid, I know Astrid did also. Yes. And there, I don't have the list in front of me, but I know there were a couple more. So yes. thank you very much. Yes, thank it, you. It is a great and vast improvement over what I was using, and it is going to be very beneficial for the future. And for now, our nows that move into the future, it will be beneficial for that. So. Yeah. So. <clears throat> thank you. Oh, Wendy. Wendy and Gordon. Yeah, Wendy Gordon. I'm, yes, definitely. Yes. So. Okay. So. Um. I don't know. Any request? I. Or any, oh, yes, if there's any request for anybody specific, I don't know how long we can go today because there's other things happening, but I, we're going to get something in here. To Kerr. To Kerr. To Kerr. To Kerr. To Kerr. I want to say. Uh, let's see. To Kerr or an Arcturian? <laughs> okay. Um, Kerr number one. <laughs> uh, Tukur is now starting to be called Mum by some people. Some people <laughs> call her Mum because she's such a motherly creature. I've had more than one person say, uh, we just want to call her Mum because she's so... Yeah, I feel the same thing. I do feel it. Yeah, she's like a mother figure. So um, I had a few people already say that and she's most loving and happy with uh, uh, did you notice people. she became like more humanoid she became more humanoid yeah last time she was so weeping and it felt yeah. like a human like to us you know well, she became you know, like us she started off when I first started to channel with the people on the ship she would not speak because she was not a big fan of humanity at first and um 
as she learned more about us through the telepaths, she she warmed up to us, and after about five or six months, she started to speak to us. And now look where she is. Um, she's gathering us under her wing, so to speak. She has been a, a real loving help to many people. So You know what would be interesting to ask her? How does her coming through you, how have you influenced her? Ah, that's an interesting question. Somebody could ask that. Yeah. So, but anyway, we'll, we'll see if Takura is available. Since okay. we're running here late, I will yes. I'll just a little bit. But first I want to say a, a little prayer before we start. I just want to, I feel that it's necessary to uh, thank the appropriate people for even having this time together. So, um, okay. Dear Spirit, dear Holy Spirit, dear all of you that help us with what we do here to spread the word, to spread love, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, we just ask that you be with us now, and we thank you for the new computer. We thank you for all these people that waited so long just to hear some words of wisdom from you. Thank you so much for using me as a tool to get th to speak to the earth, to uh, be uh, useful. I just thank you and praise you for that. And now we would like to thank every all the aliens and spirits that help us as well. So uh, much love and gratitude for sure. So help us as we continue. Amen. Thank you, Jim. You're welcome. If nothing else, they've helped me with my prayer life and how to pray. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful. They send me some such beautiful prayers sometimes. It's just amazing. I listen to them and go, wow, they're just amazing. I'm Tucker. Hello. Oh, welcome, Tucker. Welcome. How are you? I Hello, am Mom. How are you all doing today? Good. Thank you very much. Excellent. We are doing very well. How have you been? Very good. Do you have questions for me today? Yes. Anything? I will. Yeah. I will start with um, the question that I had posted to uh, Jim. How has you coming through Jim? How has he influenced you? Yes. Let me know that there are spiritual beings on your planet that should be recognized. There is much love and spirit with all of you, but he feels much... I do, I do not know how to explain it. But I can tell that he is connected to you very well, and that I connect to him very well, and I am connected to you as well. It okay. is a time when I look back and see how I have first felt about humanity and how I feel about it now and what a change you have made in my life all of you and of course Jim has made a change in my life as well has has he showed you a bit more um, of an emotional range yes Oh, yes. That is definitely true. 
I've gotten used to it now, but the emotional range is much greater, yes. And I am able to feel what he feels. And when we, we unite in our emotional feelings, it is very overwhelming. Okay. So, it... I realize a, also that the intellect here on Yukolo is very high and very worth understanding, and I learn things from you as well. I hear many of your hangouts, and there's many, many beautiful things said, and much information shared from many different places. Most of it is very accurate. Some of it is not. But that is part of humanity and part of life in general. Okay. Um, I also wanted to ask you, I am reading a book called um, The Arcturian Anthology. Yes. And I wanted to know how, from your perspective, how it accurate is about, it is. It is about 82% accurate, which is fairly high. There are some things that are not accurate. Okay. You can resonate with those things that are true. There are some things that you do not, will not resonate with, and those things will not be quite true or need to be embellished to be true, or need to just disappear. Okay, they speak of the ephemerals. The yeah, ephemerals. Yes. What do you want to know of them? Um, in, in the terms in which they speak of them, it was that um, they were the first ones here, Yes, they, we have a different name for them, and perhaps others have different names. The Octorians use their own names for their different species, so we do not always share that title or that the species title. But yes, they were very close to being the first, yes. There were others that were here but did not stay. But they were the first that would that stayed for a period of time. Let's put it that way. Okay. So who created the the first the uh, the first man on Earth? Where did that the, before the Anunnaki's? The, it is not truly known all the beginnings because there are several different s tales to tell the first man or the first civilization or the first people species on your planet. It goes back very, very far and some of the history has probably been lost or changed. But the ephemerals were the first to, cre to be man on the planet that we know of. Okay. In whose likeness? In the likeness of as you are now. But you see, you have many of your Neanderthals and, and different evolutionary changes, but we were not part of that. That was something else completely. Right, because the Neanderthal, even among them, their intelligence, what didn't it vary? Yes, it did. And also, species were there among them, other species. It, yeah. More intelligent than them? They were seeded from other places, yes. Oh. And... And do you know from where, or for the world? There are places? some speculations of from where they were seeded. Yes, but let us not get into that. It is not important. Okay, and just one last question: in terms of the Lyran, where in history yes. do 
When, where in time do the Lyrans come in? About 15... I have to exchange it into your... No, no, 2200 years ago. Okay, thank that you. Was rather recent, but that is, we had been there before, but we did not start to do anything until back then. Oh, okay, so you visited before that time. Definitely. Okay. Mother, to, Mother Tukur? Yes. Greetings. Good to see Great. you. Good to see you as well. This is Noha. Uh, I've got two questions. The first one is personal. Regarding yes. our last meeting, um, yes. a, a, job a job opportunity has opened up for me by yes. the uh, VIP personality that I spoke to you about. Yes. So what do you see for, in store for me? I see that if you are... Did you do your interview yet? No. Not yet. I the see papers will be there tomorrow. The most important part for you. You did not do the interview yet, but yeah. make sure that you read carefully what the job description is if you have it, and that you invoke those things in the interview. Okay. I need your assistance, by the way. I felt that I've been sending you telepathy messages. Yes. Got it? Okay. Good. The papers will be submitted tomorrow, by the way, which is my birthday, yes. anyway. Very good. A very good time. A high energy period. Thank you very much. That's the first question. The second one? An alignment period. It, your birthday is an alignment period with your beginnings. Thank Ground you. Ground yourself today. Ground yourself well today. And move up into the fourth dimensional thought patterns today. So that you may be equipped for tomorrow. And I will help as well. Much greetings, much love to you. I will appreciate it, Mother Tikar. Love you. The second oh. question is general. Um, there's a, an, an Arabian or an Arab uh, channeler that had predicted that there would be two sightings, UFO sightings. Uh, one is in the Arab world, in Iran, and the other one will be later on the end of the year around in Australia. So do you think this will bring the first contact quite sooner for us? There has been many contacts in the past, and there will be more contacts in the future. There will be more than just two, but those will be very interesting and very it be, sightings. It will be in the news. It will be in yeah. news in the Arab world, which is in the Arab world is not quite known, you know? So yeah. it will bring, will bring it forward. Yes, it will bring it forward in the Arab world, yes. So do you As think our many will many will not agree that it was a UFO. They will try to make it something else because they do not believe in it. So those that strongly do not believe will continue not to believe, but some who are borderline will now start to affect what is the truth. Yeah, my question is will this bring forward our first contact? It is part of it, yes. There are many yeah. things that come before first contact to make the world aware that mm -hmm. we are here. So yes, before first contact, there will be sightings, there will be other things that are ha going to happen. So mm -hmm. let it be known that there will be videos also, as you know, that will be shown and are there, but we cannot point them out. Uh -huh. We cannot this point them out without others destroying them or pulling them away. We tried that before, and it did not work. So they are there now. Okay. If you Great. can find them. Oh, yeah. Find, they will be of a great influence to others. Others will find them as well. This is, all, this is it. Uh, thank you very much, and well, I appreciate it. And I want you, I want to feel your support all around because I needed it. Okay. Uh, Lord, you have my support. Thank you. Well, I appreciate. It. Take care. No problem. Nitrous is next. Nitrous. Hello, Takur. 
How are you Come doing? Next time. How are you? I am fine. That's good. I had what? to. Oh, you were saying something? No, continue. Oh, I had two questions. One of them was, what did you think of the idea Sean and I had sent to you about taking us up to the colonies? I love the idea of people coming to the colonies. And I love the ideas that you have, but they all have to be approved by our Victorian Council. However, you will be taken, you and Sean, that has already been approved in some ways. There is a final pr approval to come, but I believe that that will happen. Also, I had another thing. It's been with me for a while. I keep seeing an image of what looks like brown clothing and a yellow triangle. I'm not sure if it's a robe of some sort. A robe. What does it look like again? It's brown? Brown, something brown with a yellow triangle. Is the triangle at the top? I don't know. A, a triangle is a representative to us of energy, just like the pyramids. The pyramids were energy conductors, or they brought energy into themselves. And they were, so a pyramid tells me some sort of energy, and so it might be a cloak of energy. I'm wondering, I am not sure if it is anything that I am familiar with, but the triangle would possibly be a symbol of energy to me. Oh, um, also, um, are you familiar with any races that use a robe during a mating ritual? Yes. Could it be... Because like that also came into my head. I'm yes, sure it's possible that. that there is that is part because you are very aware of those kinds of things. It is possible someone sent you that that image so that you would be aware that that would what that is something that is part of what they would be a part of. Okay, yeah. and one more question. I had a dream, and there was this insectoid in front of me. He looks like a spider. He said I was ready. Yes. Um, not sure what that meant. I am not sure what that meant either. Hold on one moment. He looked like a spider. Yes. That species is far away, and they are not on the earth, around the Earth right now or on the Earth. Let me check something for you. One moment. Yika. Kenjia Kokwata. Shashimya. I will have to look into that. I'm not sure what he meant by you are ready. But there is a species, a spider insectoid species, but they are not, as far as I know, interested in the earth. But if you've received them a dream or a message from them, I will find out for sure. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Hello, Tuko. Hello. It's you. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? I am very well. It is a beautiful time. There is much energy around today. I am very happy. Good to what is your question? Um, first of all, the last time we spoke, um, I asked for three fusions. Yes. The Yahil, Liren, and Syrian. Yes. I... Have... Yes, go ahead. I think I have... I had two of them. That's there what is, I feel. The, let me put it this way. The Lyran is begun. It's not completed yet. The Octorian... I am sorry. The... Uh, Yahil. The Yahil is completed. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so 
within you, but the layering is not complete. Okay. And there is a third. Continue. Welcome. Yes, and the Syrian fusion was approved? Yes, but it is not started yet. It will not be done until after the Lyran is complete. Okay. And um, about the other thing that I asked, the visitation, is it still on uh, in progress? The visitations are still in progress, yes. Okay. Um, there will be signs. Yes, continue. There will be any signs. Do I what to expect? There will be when these signs ahead of time because that is a giveaway to that what we are doing, and the, those signals can be picked up. But we will just take you at the appropriate time at the appropriate moment. I know time does not exist, but for your benefit, that is what we say. Um. Okay. Thank and you. You are welcome. You got worked on. Continue. What they are. Ayan. 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 Let Let Zenaida go first, and then me. Zenaida. Zenaida, are you there? Are you there? Yes, hello, Tucker. Hello, Zenaida. Much love to you. Much love to you as well. What? Um, my question is, I, I draw, um, I was thinking about Yael, and I draw like a circle and there is a uh, pictures with the color blue and green which yes. um, I cannot show you <laughs> um, I, I know. yes and I would like to know what does it mean there is a meaning there is a meaning there is more than one meaning the circle is protection the circle is protection the because you are you are a protector of some sort in this domain. Do you understand now what the the, the picture means? Um, yeah, because the the, the bottom looks like um like a yayel, but yeah. holding that the whole circle, which yeah. ab above. There is a sign, and the down it's a Yael triangle. Yes. With no angle. Triangle is the energy. The circle is the security. You are being protected, and you are protecting others. And there is a Yael that is connected to you in this as a star seed that you are protecting sometimes when you astrally project. You find that that person needs some help in some way. Uh, could you please tell a, a name of the Yale? Can and die. Can and die. Thank you very much. Pen and die is the name. Okay, I will connect. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. much. You are welcome. This is a very significant symbol. There is no, but that is the meaning that you need to have right now. There is other meanings for this symbol, and you will find them. That I will talk to you, and you will we will explain to you what other meanings this has. Okay, I will connect to you telepathically. Yes. yes, you will find that there is actually two other meanings to the circle and the the triangle and the yu yield that's with it is there with them. Okay, thank you very much, sweetheart. Thanks. Ayan. 
Hello, Takar. Hello, hiya. So, if we have, when we go to the colonies, if we go for, say, five days. Yes. And, and you this, were gone for about two hours, yes. Yes. So, but say, for instance, that I went today, but would yes. I still be <clears throat> tapping into those five days tomorrow in my dream time tomorrow and the day after that? It is very possible. The human mind has many facets, just like all minds in the universe. And sometimes things that are unusual move around the brain in different ways and can be expressed in different thought patterns, dreams, and in, even in emotions and spiritual awakenings. However, when you have a, a few days afterwards, it becomes something slightly different than the actual reality, but the symbolism of it is still valuable. Does that make sense to you? Hello. I think he is gone. Yeah, I think we lost his connection. Uh, Marga, would you like to go next? Sure, ready to go. Hello, Tucker. Um, ready. Hello. Okay. I'm all right, thank you. How are you? I am very well, thank you. Okay. So, Hayan is back. Hayan is back. Yes, indeed. There was someone else speaking when you left. Ah. Okay. Ah. Was it Marge? Marge. Okay. Marge, <clears throat> I will let you continue soon. I'm just gonna finish up. Well, I, yes. <clears throat> so. Um, okay, I at New Year's Eve, or that at New Year's, <clears throat> I I had a dream of the colonies, or I woke up because I was rolling around, yes. and it felt like an accident, like I woke up in a kind of like an I wasn't supposed to wake up at that time, and because of that. I saw what was going on in the colonies. Yes. And I saw Yeah, I saw a couple of beings around the panel and they were all kind of startled because I woke up in that way. Ah, yes. That is all right. They you did have an unusual experience with the human colony one. However, what happened is this the reason why they were startled is because you become your you were there in an astral projection which became more dense you almost looked like you were there in human full form but you were not but you were conscious of the you were conscious in more than one state you understand what i'm saying I exactly do understand what you're saying yes because you were in more than one state and therefore, it was a, sh a shock to them because when you're conscious in more than one state, they, your appearance changes as well because your astral body is perfect. Your astral projection is what your perfect being should look like. When you go in human form and that form suddenly appeared up in front of them, it is not quite as perfect. It is different than what they were looking at. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. So I. But it doesn't mean that you were not that you were not presentable or uh, your appearance was not good. It just was different. Yeah. Okay. Of course. But that that makes total sense because I the the what I got is that I I could see how my subconscious was thinking. Yes, exactly. You were in more than one state at one time. Your yeah. consciousness and subconscious were also aware of each other. Yeah. Which is very unusual. It's a very unusual thing, and you should be happy that you experienced that. 
because it gives you an insight of how the subconscious works. But it was only a very brief time. Yeah, it was. And I. Okay, so how come you don't. Can you help us to, to take our conscious state to the colonies? So that it's about we're losing right now. We are working on the conscious state to come to the colonies. That means that your two hours on on the colony will be the same two hours that you are leaving Earth. You will be fully gone from Earth and fully present in the colonies. Mm. But that is much more tricky than doing it astrally because they may be able to sense that signal. They were in the past. We are working on something to disguise the signal so they do, do not know that we are bringing people up. That is the final part of our mission for the site-to-site -site transfers, is to camouflage or hide or whatever word you want to say, the transmission signals to and from the colonies. Because if they are picked up, you could end up somewhere else. If they are tampered with, that is not a good thing. I could end up in somewhere else? If they tamper with the signal, yes. Mm -hmm. So that is a caution we have, a precaution that we are working on. Okay, okay. And how come you you need to uh, put back our last thought before we come back to our body? Yes, but when you put it back, we, we, put, we, we put back the last thought so that you won't be disoriented. You've been gone for five or six days. When you wake up and you are not where you think you are, it's very disorienting. And sometimes it causes great problems, as it did in the very beginning. There were a couple that caused... I, I cannot mention any names, but there were a couple that when they woke up from that reality, were so disoriented that it, it caused problems. Okay. Because I'm quite curious about that. I would like to try it. I would Without like to go. Put the last thought in. Well, that is a possibility, but we would have to do a mental examination of you first. All right. And this night I had a dream about the colonies as well. I, I dreamt that we were eating in a big dining room for only humans. Yes. Would that be correct as well? There are times when they do humans together and other species together just for familiarity and for, to, uh, for good conversation. You don't have to be telepathic and things of that nature. And it's very... Um, familiar. So we don't not want to take familiarity completely away from you as you're visiting the colonies because sometimes familiarity becomes a strange to you and all you see is other species and things that aren't immediately recognizable to you. So this is a way to bring some normality and some familiarity to your stay in the colonies. Ah, very good. Even in the astral. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, because you even sleep in the astral. You have rooms where you rest. Your mind does not stop working as a human when you go to the astral. You, Your mind is actually in a, a cycle of sleep and eat and learn and different things. And therefore, it continues even in the in the colonies. All right, all right. Okay, just one quickie, one last thing. You know, we got hybridized by Anunnaki and 11 other races in seven times. Were the Liren one of them? Lirans were a part of that, yes. Many thousands of years ago. If, um, at least two thousand years ago. Yes. Hmm. Okay. I'm done. Thank you. You are welcome. Marga? Okay, ready. 
Okay, hello again. Um, I'm going to go straight to the question. Hello. Okay. Continue. Go ahead. All right. Uh, lately, I haven't been able to astrally project. I wonder if there's a reason why I'm getting stuck just as about I'm, I'm about to leave my body. It happens all the time. Have you been under a lot of stress lately? <laughs> yeah. This will this will help not for you to astral project until some of that stress is taken away from the internal. What happens when stress is in the body? It keeps everything focused on it in many ways. And so, therefore, moving out of the body becomes a little more difficult. Things that cause internal focus keep the body there, keep the spirit there, keep the attention there, if you understand. Nice. And so, if there is something particularly stressful right now, it will hold that, it will, it will take the attention to itself and keep the body there and keep the spirit there because it wants the attention. But I know I can tell you how to get rid of it. Okay. You must, whenever you do your next meditation, just intend that that stress be relieved, that all the things that hold your spirit in be relieved because those are things that want attention from your mind and body and spirit. Okay. Yes. So intend that these things will be relieved or will let you travel and that they will not need the attention that they once did. Okay. This should help you a great deal. I see that you travel quite well and easily. Yeah. So with this extra Whatever it is, it could be stress, it could be disappointment, it could be something, but it is a definitely a shadow emotion. Whatever it is, intend that it let you travel. Intend that it, it is taken care of and the attention is not needed anymore. And release it. Let it go. Let it go. Because worrying about it or becoming part of it is not beneficial. The shadow emotions should be let go. Forgiven, if it's something you need to forgive yourself about. Oh, okay. Forgive yourself and let it go. If it's something that you need to forgive someone else about, forgive them and let it go. Do not hold on to it. It will cause illness and it will cause spiritual in impediment. Okay. You understand? Yes, I do. Very good. Well, uh, I was wondering, though, related to my stressor, um, actually, my husband is extremely depressed. So I was wondering if just, just normal depression from work or whatever, or if there's any negative entity around him or affecting him. One moment. I see that you and him are very close. Yes. You tied together very well, but there is something pulling him away from you right now. One thing. I believe that he is experiencing some emotions he has not felt before. Not to say that he does not experience all emotions, but this one is pulling him in another direction. I am not quite sure. I cannot quite contact him. But it is of importance to him, but he will not tell you what it is. One moment. There is a, perhaps a relative or another relationship that is causing this. Does he get along well with others? Well, um, as long as they treat him well, he's very loving and kind, but if he feels that people are unfair, he's not, not at all. I understand. I believe there is another relationship outside of your relationship. 
he has gave me some grief. Yes, his mother right now gave him a lot of grief for the holidays, very much. That's why his depression is so strong. Because a mother figure is a very strong figure in your life. Yeah. I knew it was a relationship, but I did not know exactly which one. Okay. But it was it is a close relationship that is causing this depression. And there is really nothing you can do about it. Okay. He will have to resolve it himself. However, you, this is what you can do. You can say, you must not let her control how you feel because it affects your health. Yes. It affects the way you do things and it affects everyone else around you. But he may not be able to help it. Some people cannot. But no. he, he may be able, if, if I were to speak to him, I would say to get rid of this shadow emotion of she is making him feel guilty, she is making him feel, guilty is the major one, exactly. But yeah. she, is, she is causing him to, she is manipulating him. Yes. And so, therefore, he is very depressed about that because he knows this as well. Does yeah. He know? Yeah. He must deal with it in a way that he can release it from himself because it is not his fault the many things that he is being blamed for. That's right. He got that. All right. But he feels the guilt. Because it's the mother figure. Yes. He should not feel that guilt. He should encounter her. Come to her and speak to her firmly about how he really feels. And she will try to guilt him as well. But she will know, if he does not back down, she will know that he is not to be controlled. I will tell him. I'll see if he would like to do that. Great. I do not think he will want to do that, but it is something that he could do. He should, yeah. <laughs> and if we, it will be beneficial to you as well, because she does have things that she comes to you with that are not your fault as well, and, and some negativity that is not necessary. Yes. Yes. He got that. Wow. Yes, I understand. Great. Thank you so much. That was very good. Okay, one last little thing. Yes. Um, am I going to receive a DNA infusion? I requested. Yes, you already started it. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you very much. I it's love it. I, it's at 4.1%. Oh, wonderful. But it has okay. not been activated. It's just being infused at this time. Okay. I will let you know when it comes active oh. on the other webinars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, um, next I have a question for Danny. Um, he has been waiting for this for quite a while. Um, he wanted to know, is my Pleiadian infusion fully activated and is Delirin already placed, started to activate? The Pleiadian is fully activated. The and the Lyran is at 1%. Okay. And he also wanted to know if we had a, uh, a, a Christmas dinner at the Crystal Room. There was a dinner on the Crystal Room. I would not call it a Christmas dinner. It was a celebratory dinner. But it, there were people there of many different religions, so we could not label it as a Christmas dinner. Okay. Um, the other question was from Honey. He wanted to know, um, oh, he had a mark that showed up on his, uh, I think it was his leg, and it has, it has like a shape on it. Um, we're not quite clear what it is. 
but it looks like some kind of sea creature or animal or something. Interesting. That is not anything that we would have anything to do with. However, there are many new species around the planet. I would like to, if he could send a picture of it to Jim on his text, I could investigate. Okay. Um, because... I can actually sort of see it now, but it would be much better if I had the picture. Okay. And... Um... Do you, do you feel that um, the previous problem that we have spoken of before, do you think that's gone? One moment. How do you feel about that? I believe that it is gone. I think, I believe that it's gone also. Yes, it's gone. Yeah. I, I get the feeling that he's actually getting now um, the ETs coming in. Yes. You must understand also, all of you, if you get hybridization of any kind, an infusion of any kind of hybridization does help your health. It will help strengthen your body, your mind, and sometimes even your spirit. But it does help you become healthier. Okay. Um, speaking of that, has mine been fully activated or not yet? It's just 1% from activation fully being activated. Okay. And that will happen very shortly, yes. Very small percentage. I'm not sure why they didn't do that already, but I will check with them. You never know about what they're thinking. Ikata. What other questions are there? Okay, my other question was I had a dream um, in which I woke up like in a container and then I enter a warehouse. I don't know if you can speak of this. <laughs> I have known about this dream before, yes. I think we've spoken about it before. Mm, or no. at least someone has. The warehouse, yes. And there was... There was... Uh, dreams of this warehouse. It's a, it is actually a place where aliens are. Did you sen sense that? Um... Yeah, actually, I talked about it with Danny, and he said that the ones that I saw as being humans that were probably ETs to yes, ease me. They were, they were. The place that you were was a warehouse where there is a station there. It appears to be a warehouse, and it is not, really. It is a station for a couple different species who get along well to have a center where they can meet and where they can move out from if they have plans. They do take on human form and they do work in human society and they are just doing a study of humanity. It is nothing more than that. Okay, because However, I would... You are one of the humans that they are studying so you have been taken to the warehouse in your thoughts, in your dreams and you will be taken there in person at some time. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hello, Sean. It's next. Oh. Hey, can, can I can I go for Sean? Okay. It's Elena. Elena, how are you? Thank you for your help and calling. You. Happy too. New Year! Happy New Year! And to everybody, hello. Um, I I'm here. Regarding a health issue with my daughter, with my baby girl, yes, she has a virus, and I was asking you tell me a week ago she had a very high fever, extremely high, and but we got over that, and I don't know if you got my message then. Yes. I I asked 
I asked you to contact the path and if possible to help putting down the fever. Yes. And she miraculously put the fever away and that was yeah. it. But now we have the chicken pox. <laughs> and it, it seems human. like a bad yes. Yes, but it's she a human weak. virus. Yes. She is very weak from it because she had the other virus first. So but she will get over this. We will send something for her. We were unaware that Thank she you. developed chicken pox after the fever. But yes, yes, to pass something for the fever. Thank you. Thank you very much. He will send something immediately for the chicken pox. Thank you. My deep love and appreciation. Not a problem. I, I These are the kinds mm -hmm. of things that cannot be detected that we can help with. Thank so you. she will be she will be much better tomorrow. I I just want to ask about the bee population on Earth. Will the bee population be? Can we help it in the future, or will it disappear? The bee population. Yes, the bees that make honey for us. Ah, oh, the bees. I thought you were referring to bee humans. But no, bee population will not disappear completely. They have actually popped up in other places. However, there has been some damage because they weren't there for a while. Another species was yes. examining them, yes. But they've returned some of them to the earth. Thank they will you. Not disappear. Okay, have a have a lovely day and I will see you in colony too. Bye bye. Much love. Bye everyone. Thank Much you, Ed. Bye you all. In bye. The colony. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, Thank Sean. Hello, to Kurt Hugh. I love you. I just want to send my deepest love to you. You are a great comforter, you are, and I just want to uh, say you are a, a great, powerful, uh, beautiful being. Thank I, you. And you are a shining beacon of yourself. You have great spirituality. I do have a question, and the question was that on New Year's Eve at 11:55, I got I got an energetic calling to go outside, and this is unusual for me because usually I am with uh, my family, and I stayed out there until a quarter past uh, 12 on the 1st of January 2015 was there anything done to me or was there was I taken or what happened you were there was an energetic exchange at that time I feel it right now when I'm speaking to you you had an energetic exchange from us and now I am aware of what it is yes but that it is a very positive thing there has been problems in your life about stature and things of that nature. I'm not sure what that means. But anyway, um, they're telling me that you've been through many things with your parents and your schooling. And now things will change for you. You've come through it all. And there is an energetic part of you that has been acknowledged and that is what happened. And I also thank you, Takara. I also have another question about my Pleiadian DNA. Which uh, Pleiadian DNA is it? Like, is it Aaron Pleiadian DNA, or is it Pleiadian Pleiadian DNA? It's from the Cassius species. It's, Thank you. It's the blue Pleiadian species from Lakesh's world. He finds you fascinating. And therefore, he is, instead of having the tall blue Pleiadian, you have the Lakesh blue Ple 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 Pleiadian, as we would refer to it. Can you please let Lakesh know that? Uh, I send my love to him and tell him that I find him fascinating too and I love his personality. 
Excellent. I will let him know. Thank you. Much love. Much love to you. Continue to move forward. This energy that has been given to you is a gift. It will open up more fourth dimensional thought patterns than you had before. And that is quite a lot because you did have some fourth dimensional thought patterns already that were quite evident. But they felt that you needed it to move forward in some of your work. Thank you. You're welcome. Jasmina. Jasmina. Hello, Dakar. Hello, Jasmina. I'm very happy to you. I want to ask you about uh, the visits uh, to the colonies, if I go there still. Yes, you do. Actually, you've just been there. You were there on the second, and it is only the third year. Yes, you were there. Oh. Yes. What you was were I doing the one there? Great telepathic work. They've, I have to let everyone know that these classes are much smaller now. And the reason for this is we used to have larger classes for the telepathic class. However, it was very difficult for humans to be telepathic with so many at once when they got in front of the class and had to do experimental telepathy. So we made the classes much smaller so that it is not so difficult to share your telepathy with more than one, which is part of the teachings. So therefore, your classes are only seven or eight, or sometimes even smaller, depending on those students in the class, depending on their telepathic abilities and things of that nature, because we want them to be able to grow. and if if you cannot grow in a large classroom, a smaller classroom is, is needed. Yes, you were there. Okay, very, very good. I feel much more telepathic in my life now. Yes, you are. You are much more telepathic and your emotional, your emotional life is deeper and your spiritual yes. life is deeper as well. You have moved into another realm of spirituality as well. You are continually growing. And that is a wonderful thing for you, Jasmina. You can feel it. I know you can. And the orb, there's an orb with you, is there not? Somewhere. I don't know. There may be an orb somewhere around you at this time. What? And that is a good what thing. Is yes. why, why is there an orb? There is an orb around you at this time. I believe that they are going to give you a download of some sort. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yes, very good. Continue, because you've been so successful with many things, they, they perhaps are going to give you this download. I am not completely sure what it is. I would have to check with these two. Okay, that's that's amazing. <laughs> um, one more question. Yesterday I had like a bad dream. Something uh, something not good was uh, trying to get in my head. That was there... after you came back from the colonies. Yes, someone was trying to tamper with the information that and the telepathic lessons that you had learned from last night. So, yes, if we took care of it, they are gone. All right. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Thank uh, you. I love you. I love you as well. Francine, do you have any questions? I sense she does. <laughs> I, I'm just listening to all this talk about infusions, and I'm curious as to is it because one requests it, or what determines who's going to get an infusion, and what does it take to activate it? That is all very good questions. They request them. 
we check them to see if they are compatible with the infusion of different species, such as Lyra and Octuri and Yu-Gil, etc. Then, if they are compatible, we give them what they are compatible with in a certain percentage, usually around 6%, sometimes lower. There are a few that have higher than 6, 7 or 8% of any infusion. But there are those like Max and others that have great a great deal of it. Now, the, the, you can have the infusion without it being activated. We activate it afterwards. And the reason we've discovered that to activate and infuse at the same time is not as healthy, can cause side effects. So we will give you the infusion first and then activate the DNA little by little so that it is properly integrated into the system. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Now, the reason people are asking for these, the infusions of DNA, it's there's some DNA that uh, enhances IQ. There's some DNA that enhances body density. There's some DNA that enhances spirituality or even some that enhances emotion. Not that it, they're bringing emotion to it, but they, they are aware of it and, and it enhances it. There are some that changes their, uh, the way they think or br brings more clarity. And in the case of reptilian, brings sometimes fuzziness and irritability and things of that nature when they go through a certain period of their development. But... They're the only ones that have the very negative side effects. There are some negative side effects to some hybridizations, but humans do not seem to have them very often. And if they do, they're very easy to fix. So, like um, temporary loss of motor skills for uh, just a few seconds, but uh, and temporary thought process rearrangement which means that oh you forgot something and you're not usually one that forgets things but it recovers and you you'll say oh that's what I was whatever but anyway it does have some very positive outcomes and also it affects the health because any kind of hybridization even on your planet between different species on your different races I should say on your planet when you when you bond two races together there's usually a benefit health wise or energy wise or some benefit to that hybridization we because that's exactly what it is as well it's a some form of hybridization when you, interracial marriages marriages occur or inter cultural marriages occur it's not like hybridization of the form and things can be good well, and there are times, very few times, when it can be bad. There are negative features to the, the union. However, we have checked, and everything that we do with humanity as far as the hybridization is healthy. Okay, so just an infusion and, is a, and an activation is just a request. Correct. Okay. Now, uh, some have been given it without requests, but that is no longer. Okay, so now I have a little more of a personal question because I've been feeling um, impatient, so it, as though I'm I, I'm waiting for something or on the verge of something. Yes, a, a big change. Okay, am I correct in thinking this? You are correct in thinking that. Yes, it may not be the change you're thinking it is, but in fact, you're not even sure what it is. But um, let me tell you that there is something coming. It will affect more than you, though, but it is something for you. Okay. Any, Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Any suggestion? Of ah, just continue to meditate and actually bring in intention meditation for this, for this thing that is coming for you, this change. Okay. Good enough. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you, Dicker. Thank you. You're welcome. No. Gordon? Gordon, hello. Greetings, Dakar. Greetings, Gordon. It's been a while since I spoke to you. 
pass. Too long, my friend. I um, I'm curious that we're on the topic about um, status of our current um, structures, and for myself, I've I've put out the consent a long time ago, but I never really uh, have followed through too much with the current status of myself with uh, hybridization as well as uh, any children that I might have in that arena. Ah. We had not heard from you, but we, telepathically we have heard from you. But not in the spoken form. But I can tell you that you do have one hybridization at this time. And you're... You do not have a hybrid child, but they do have your DNA. Would you like a hybrid child? Yes, you said. Yeah. That will happen. Splendid. Thank you. And um, yes, the, the type of hybridization that you received, you were approved for Liren first. So I'm not even sure if you asked for that, but that's what you were approved for. They thought that would be the best first step for you. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of uh, actual research on this in, in various facets, and um, I, I think I think that would be a strong choice because I feel that I should strengthen areas where I, um, yes. I don't think are weak, but am not as versed per se right now. Yes, and, it um, help you with a, a few of the things that you are you are not really struggling with, but that you um it would make things better for you. Let's put it that way. And is that because of the higher understanding of emotional intelligence? Exactly. Your I your emotional IQ is very high, okay. as well as your regular IQ. However, emotional IQ is something quite different. Do you understand? Yeah, I've been really learning that recently, uh, especially with uh, my friend Jaguar who's visiting. We've been doing a lot of research with human design and understanding the chakras and, um, and the emotion. A very unique and wonderful individual. Yes, we're very uh, uh, powerful co-creations. Yes. But yes. That's something I'm learning is, is mastering as a, I'm an emotional creature and to master um, my inner authority as it's defined. Um, Liren will help you with that. Yeah. Liren, Liren can actually raise your IQ emotionally and otherwise. Okay. Also body density, also some spiritual help, some... Uh, third eye activation. In, it's different in every per, every person. There's more benefits for you for Lear and then not. Okay. Well, I consent to the activation and beginning of that. I think it, has, that it has begun, yes. Okay. Actually, it's been, it's been started for a while now. You're almost finished. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, what for each? I guess for a general, for everyone to understand, when when there's different um, key performance points for each individual. That you know, the infusion, the activation, and then the finishing. And you might have them, you know, your own system defining it. But what is that kind of? Is there a, a general sort of um, effect that each person is going to feel once the activation is complete? Is there certain the most, you know? The most general effect that we have found is confidence has increased. Um, there's a sense of more confidence, a sense of more well-being from all infusions except for perhaps Insectoria reptilian. Um, but Lyran, Octorian, Yuyil, all these Pleiadian all have a, a higher sense of accomplishment a higher sense of well-being. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Good. And that is that's one thing that they all have in common, is they all give you a sense of confidence and well-being. 
And is that because there's actual, you know, I get down to even the the chemistry of it, but there's, you know, dealing with dealing with DNA codons and activations of actual DNA structures. Are you actually implementing a new yes. st strand of DNA and then having that actual codon being activated? And you know, is that kind of the medical sort of Correct. okay? That's sort of a medical thing. What we do is add the DNA to the junk DNA. Do you understand what I mean by that? Yeah. At the ends of each of the strands, there's places that can be used to put DNA that can be uh, slowly infused into the DNA uh, nucleotides. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's that's you really understand that. Yeah, because we've always had all this with with science is defined as junk DNA, which I've always thought is a, a rude term because it's not junk, but it's it's yes. It has it been there for us to be utilized so that we can have more hybridization? Yes, or it is where they put the hybridization so that it does not interfere with your humanity. Do you understand that? It, yeah. We do not take any humanity away from you. We just add whatever species is giving their hybridization to your DNA in a place where it's hidden, but mm -hmm. that can still be used to, to soak into the nucleotides and the, the, the actual strands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you? Yes. So in theory, then, we've gone from a point that is a smaller amount of, of the, that particular DNA not activated to now a point where it's become more and more activated to where, in theory, it essentially will all be activated and we're at, uh, you know, 100% use of all DNA codons within Correct. the human Yes. In some ways, that is true. The codons can be made to be activated, but if you don't know how to use them in effect, effectively they will just remain neutral. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Complete the circuit. Yes. If they cannot do that, they will remain neutral. But there is no harm in that. Because the ones that need to be activated and do their work will do so. Because you have codons that are inactive in the human body even as we speak. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So then the actual, the next linear step from once the DNA codons are activated within the mind, forming a new synopsis in the mind, a new actual pathway within the mind, is that the next step once the codon's there, that that's the actual closing of the circuit, the firing and the wiring together? It would, will help the firing and the wiring, but what it will actually help is the efficiency of the firing and the wiring. Does that make sense to you? The yes. efficiency and the connectivity of the firing and the wiring in the brain will become more complete, and you will be, have more sensation than was priorly uh, deciphered. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm trying to say it in words that others can understand yeah. as well. I understand. I understand. Um, simplicity. The, decipher, the codons will also um, slowly and gradually move beyond where they are. Does that make sense to you? BR in, BR in like space-time reference or BR? Yes. Mm -hmm. So they become yes. like multidimensional in that sense, more crystallized yes. or? Yes, yes, multidimensional. Okay. Okay. Because of the fourth dimensional activity. Mm -hmm. You understand that part, yes. I'm just trying to keep it in a very uh, simple realm. Yeah, I understand. I'm trying to just uh, visually see the, um, the process, you know. I think that's... A, a very good reference if, if and this will be something that's very critical for as we get awareness and information out there people can begin to make um, uh, demonstrations video demonstrations to say you know it is you know, already it, yes mm. <clears throat> exactly um, 
because I think I think immediately for me when I first heard of a lot of this hybridization, the key was um, there's so many incredible you know um, infinite amount of species out there. You know how can I just choose one or two? You know I, it's I'm, you know it's it's almost like you have this huge plethora of food. It's hard. Where are we going to eat? Kind of thing. Um, exactly. And let me tell you what. Mm -hmm. uh, something that you need to know about that. Not all species interact together well within the DNA. You have to have species that their DNA interact well together if you're going to have more than one. And with humans, there are some species out there that you would not be able to have their hybridization. It would it would distort and and contort some of the uh, nucleotides and the actual thread strings and uh, those kind of DNAs we know will not be used with hybridization with humans. Interesting. So you actually have technology that can see the very single fabrics of DNA strands? Yes. And work with it? That's fantastic. Yes. Is that some sort of extremely intense microscope or what is that utilizing? Yes, it would be a, what you would call a microscope. I guess we can. Okay. Well, I don't want to take up too much time. Um, but, um, but we also have methods that we can enlarge some things with chemicals and make them hundreds of times larger than they actually <laughs> are. It, without hurting them, it's all natural kind of yeah, thing? It's all natural. Wow. That's Do you awesome. understand how important that is? Yeah, well, if you really need to see, yeah, I mean, the nanotechnology is kind of something big that's cutting edge for us right now. If you could, or then also as far as organisms, you know, there's there's both synthetic and uh, organic uh, applications I could see here. And our, our microscopic technology is also beyond yours, so this gives us a very close close up look. Yeah, I'd imagine that's what you're using to design the um, yes. devices for us. The hybridization program is based on those kinds of studies. Yes. Interesting. Well, I, I would love to, um, however we can work it out, and to my best of my ability, um, I won't take up any more time, but I'd love to continue these kind of discussions on a more conscious level um, because I think there's a lot of synergy that can be created with, you know. I understand. Yes. You know? um, so I am not uh, a scientist, but I do have some knowledge, working knowledge of what is happening. Yes. Well, I'm not. I'm not either. <laughs> I, I exactly. I'm just the same. You know, I just know a few things. And yes, you have just been studying. I understand. Yeah. But it it is a good study. Of course, it's Max passion. Very well. Max is very in tune to this kind of study. Mm -hmm. I resonate. We both resonate with that a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I'll pass the mic, but I have another broad question if somebody doesn't have a question, but whoever's next can go ahead. Yes. I just would like to we add have, hold on. Well. To, that, to that topic, you know. Yes. Um, so okay. it's it's on the same topic, so. Okay. <laughs> Instead of if, if, we, if one just connects from the now to a certain species and activate from the junk DNA and activates that that alien DNA. <clears throat> Is it the same thing as getting hybridized externally? Externally. Explain. External you know, getting hybridized by you. Oh yes. Would it, it, all it be just yes. a permission slip kind of like uh, you mean external from outside your body? Yeah, from you, for instance. Yeah. We, I, I do not know if I understand the question, but we do come, we do send the hybridization in through a small teleportation. We used to use needles and other things, however. Teleporting the hybrid DNA is more efficient and puts it in a better spot. You can be more precise. Yes. And choose where, yes. where it should be. Where it can actually soak into the other parts of the DNA more efficiently. Mm. Okay. 
All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Sarah. I must go now. Oh. Or one more. Is there one more? Yes. Yes. Hello, it is Hello. I love you. I'm, I'm good. I actually had a couple of questions, but if you have to go. No, continue. I will stay for you. Okay, thank you so much. All right. Well, one is my health the last couple of days have been, like, just terrible. And I've been doing everything I can, even toning and sharing energy with the trees. Uh, what is wrong with your health? It's like this crazy flu. Oh. Is it affecting uh, all parts of the body? Yes. Like, at the moment, I feel a headache and, and heavy energy all the way down to my hip area. And my legs are very heavy. I went and took a walk today. It's just... Yes. My, it's in my throat, it's in my nose. It's, it's just everywhere. I... Yes, I sensed it was all through the body. One moment. The pad will help you. Hold up. Thank you. One moment. I must do a, a small meditation. Well, thank you. You will feel something shortly. But in my head at the moment. It will take some time to work on the entire body, but let it flow through you. You will feel it now. Yes. Thank you. Let it, let it move through you. Do not block it in any way. Do not doubt it in any way. It is it's pure good energy that will be wiping out some of the toxins and impurities that are there, first of all. Then it will be adding some medical vitamins and minerals. Thank you. You should be well within 48 hours. Lovely. You got Shaw. Thank you. If not, contact Jim and we will speak to you again, but I'm pretty sure it will be gone. Uh, do you know if it was some sort of outside thing that it caused is, this? It is a virus. It is. There is bacteria as well. There's more than one thing happening at once, so we will take care of it. Thank you. Um, also, I, I was wondering on the same question of the DNA, DNA what uh, DNA would I benefit from? Just a moment. Sarah, you would benefit from what judge you are. Ooh, interesting. You are one of the few that would do it. There are actually a few benefits. Ooh. Or 
a few different ones. Liren, Octorian, and Yu Yu. Very well. Theadian would not be as be as beneficial for you. And nor would reptilian. However, there is a snake DNA. Ooh. That you well, seem to relate to quite well. They yeah. will give you their DNA as well. Thank you. I would appreciate all of those. They will check your system to see if you are indeed a good recipient for them. Very well. Would, but after you're well. Yes. <laughs> Thank we'll you. Check your system after you're well. But bef we had checked it before, I believe, and at that time, those were the most beneficial. Mm. But I do have to go now. Thank you so much. You are Many welcome. blessings. I am sorry if there's more questions. I do have to go. I have run beyond my time. Thank you, Tupper. Thank you for coming. Much love to you. And uh, I will bring Jim back. Namaste. Namaste. Not an hour. Hello. Hi, Jim. Hello. Hi, Jim. Hello. Wow, she stayed a long time. Hello, Jim. Welcome back. Huh? I say welcome back. The water, the water. Thank you very mm. much. She stayed a long time. Ooh. All right, Jim. Uh, I Now that I see the water, I have to say that I came up with an idea for the water. Okay. So I ordered for you um, a water bottle that is a no spill. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping that maybe you can teach the car to use it. Oh, so she can use it while we're doing our... Yes. Yes, the webinar, because I know sometimes <laughs> your throw bothers you, so yes. I, so I thought it would be a good idea, and um, you know, it's oh. pretty big, so she should be able to do it, but even All if right. it falls, it will mess up the computer. Okay, very good. <laughs> good thought, good thought, because, yeah, they don't know how to, they can't pick up the glass. There's no, I mean, not... No. But that maybe they can, you know, pick up the water bottle. Um, okay. And or somebody can hand me the water bottle. Yes. And, and uh, Chakar can see if she can hold it or whatever. Yeah. Or whoever's here. Um, yeah, so okay. that. One o'clock. Oh, one, almost one o'clock. Oh. Yes. Um, do you want to close with a prayer? Okay. Does anybody have any questions before we do that? I guess. I guess not. Okay. Guess not. Let's close with a prayer, and then I'm going to eat something. <laughs> okay, Doc. The I'm going to ask the Arcturians for also some. Blessing for Sarah. That's a great idea. Thank you. Thank you, Sabrina. Takatana naku siya kala kia to koto na naku oria katana na kali o sakuto ati kio sa katana na naku o kua sa kali a katana na. Aliosa kutu no na kutu ya laki kio sanana naka to ya katana katu kutu olia katana na naskutu atana na aliosa kutu u sakatana na naku o ya na naku tiya katu kuwa 
しごとかどれやってやることとなな。みろしやわなこうわた。きよそとのなな。おおこのさらことこと。ありゃ。おおなあこわしよこ。とだきよとこ。おうかてよこと。かてよなななきよこと。すやきゃき。きよたなにやこ。たえなかたな。きよさきよとこわかて。きやなこうすやかた。ありょうさにきやかて。きよなすやかて。こうさかたななことこそことは。ありょうさなななきよこと。ふりあななかとはさとはかてよさなな、きよななきよこ、ほくうしやか、てよなか、とうとはてやか、あこわた、あかたな、ほうすわたかたか。From the immeasurable light to each of your hearts and to each of your minds, let the darkness be lifted. Let anything that brings darkness to you be brought into the light and brought into the fullness. Let your minds and hearts and spirits be as one and gather together in a form of communion to bring each into the light that is brighter than the next. From that immeasurable light also come so many other things. Matter and distance and love, and, and I cannot even explain the things that you've not even seen yet. And now, between each other, and between you and I, and between our hearts and our souls, and our planets and our species, we know that there will be a time of great reunion because we have known you for a long time. And you've known about us for a long time. You just don't know us as well as we know you. And now let us become a great force to help others that are lifting up, to help others that need an ascension just as you need. And we talk to you and speak to you with our light and not necessarily our voices. Our souls are not necessarily a communication of words and thoughts, but a communication of love and emotion, gratitude, and many things that cannot be spoken into words without losing meaning. And now, as we present ourselves to you, you present yourselves. In such a wonderful light to us. We congratulate you and thank you for the great job you are doing moving forward. But let us state one more time let that darkness be lifted from you. Do not dwell in anything that does not resonate with you. And let yourselves become light, not only bright light. But also the weight of lightness. We will be with you to help you, and your illnesses will be cured in time by the very thought of being cured. Have a wonderful day and much love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else want to speak? Thank you very much. I also included Ellie's daughter. Very good. So, you need your prayer? Yes. Thank you all. Thank, thank you all. Have a wonderful day. Sorry that you had to wait so long for us to get started, but I think that it was worth it. They yes, definitely. Yes. Yes. So, <laughs> thank you, Jim. Much love. Francine, also, thank you. Okay, bye, bye Serena.
Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, bye, bye Francie. Bye. bye, Jim. Love you. Bye. Enjoy Love your weekend. You. <laughs> Love you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.